They wouldn't be able to implement anything in Australia if it weren't for the technology. That's why we've always been a Luddite, okay? I know that people understand what I'm saying, but they don't want to apply what I'm saying. There's a huge difference between them being able to comprehend, yes, the technology is probably not positive. You're right, Amy. Versus, I should probably break my smartphone and get off social networking sites. I should probably stop using the internet so much. I should probably try to come up with an alternative way of doing everything that I'm doing. I know that this is a really odious task to, you know, redo everything, relearn everything, but think about it like this. 20 years ago, none of this stuff was necessary. None of this stuff was a part of our lives. The phone was attached to the wall, and if you wanted to talk to somebody on the telephone, you had to stand there and wait. <laughs> and guess what? You really appreciated that phone call. You really appreciated whenever you finally got a hold of somebody. Now, the reason why you can't get a hold of somebody is because the phones aren't actually used to communicate. I tried to warn people about this, just like social networks were only being implemented so that they could fuck with everybody's brain chemistry. Facebook, Twitter, now Instagram, it's like, it's just destroying, like, our ability to, to see things the way that they truly are. I mean, the television's already been doing that because of the news media, okay? People see things on the TV and they assume that it's real. So why are you shocked that people trust the CDC? Why are you shocked that people trust the WHO and, and the FDA and all these other pieces of shit? Why are you shocked by that? Like. This is exactly the society that one would expect if they pay attention, which nobody in my country does. They don't care about anything. Don't let them fool you. Oh, that they care now, they don't want to take this experimental gene therapy. Congratulations, you got one right, son. You got one right. Congratulations. You're not a guinea pig this way. Are you ever gonna stop being a guinea pig for big tech? Are you ever gonna stop being a guinea pig for Verizon and Apple? I mean, everything's an experiment. Every motherfucking thing in this shithole country is an experiment. That's why I think of it as a shithole. It's not because we don't have freedom here and liberty. Like, we have considerably more of that than any other country, and look what people choose to do with it. It's fucking pathetic. This country would be fucking amazing if we had good people living here, okay? If we had free-thinking people, free-thinking, free-feeling, free-wheeling. Think of Bob Dylan. Okay? If we had that kind of mentality, if we had the same kind of mentality as Bob Dylan, we would be so happy. But unfortunately, everybody is such a fucking sheep and they just do whatever they're told to do. They do what they're told, they buy what they're sold, and then they play the victim about it. This rant makes sense considering the music we're listening to, okay? I think I just need a rant with classical music in the background from now on. I just think that that's... Pretty good logic. Anyway, I'm gonna stop by the gas station and, and be horrified. <laughs> I want to see how much more gas prices have soared in my hometown. Let's let's see what happens tonight. <laughs> 
I mean, it's just funny. It's just funny watching everything be completely destroyed because people are still so blindsided. They still don't get it. Don't tell me that you're some free thinking motherfucker if you haven't broken your smartphone yet because that is exactly how they're doing everything they're doing. That's how they're doing it. Look at Australia, damn it. Why is this so hard? Oh! Psychosis, Amy, it's psychosis. I know it's psychosis! <laughs> yeah, man. Adam, Mr. Theron, Lauren, my bitch, my crazy bitch. Y'all get it. Well, we got two. We got two people that understand. <laughs> Willing to give up the technology in order to be a free, liberated individual. And don't think that I don't know that there are other ways that they control us, okay? I know that they still have my fucking social security and and my ID, and oh, I got a laptop, and I use electricity, and... <laughs> Don't you love it when people compare, like, the smartphone to, like, an automobile? I mean, that's very clear that, like, people just are so far gone. They're so far removed from reality that they think that this is a logical comparison. Driving a car is the same thing as carrying around a portable interactive television set that talks to you and fucks with your dopamine. Yeah, that's the same shit. That's Marxism right there. Like just lumping everything in the same category and you know, it's like when they say you can't compare apples to oranges and shit. I mean, that's like, what did I say before? <laughs> like comparing like, Let's compare in, like a mango to a piece of flank steak. Okay, like that's what people are doing. Because they're that immersed in the technology, they can't see it any other way. They can't conceptualize a world like without this technology that they're so used to. It's pathetic. You're pathetic. I don't care how much of a cunt I am right now. Okay? Everything is falling apart because of your refusal to see the truth about the decisions that you continue to make on a day-to-day -day basis. And I hope to lose five more fucking subscribers. I hope to eat more mints. Let me eat more mints. I want more Tic Tacs. I want my teeth to fall out. 